Hello everyone. So it's been a long time that I've uploaded a video. So I'm back with an interview question today. So what this question is, you are given an n cross n matrix and in which each row is sorted and you have to find the median of that matrix. Seems to be simple, right? Let's see. And you are given that number of element in that matrix is odd and you are not allowed to use any extra space beside this matrix okay so how we can calculate median so given the number of elements is odd we can find the median as 1 plus number of element by 2 its smallest element this is the median let's see an example let's say this is the matrix and we have to find the median so one naive approach would be if we relax the condition that no extra space is allowed so if we relax this condition we can find the median quite easily how let's see we can take an array and store the elements of this matrix row by row column by column you can do it in any fashion i have done it row by row so i have stored all the elements of this matrix row by row first row then second row then third row then I have to find the 1 plus number of elements by 2 its smallest element of this array. That's simple, right? So how can I achieve that? I can just sort it and find the fifth element. So this is how I done it. I have sorted this array and find the fifth element. So what is the fifth element? As there are 9 elements, so median would be 1 plus 9 by 2 its element in this case after sorting this array so median is 5 so we return 5 but we relax the condition that extra space is not allowed so how can I achieve the median of the matrix without using the fact that extra space is allowed we have to use this fact that each row is sorted Let's see how can we achieve that. Okay, so we have to find the median of the matrix without using any extra space now. As we have already seen that median is 1 plus number of element by 2 its smallest element given any number of elements. So if we can find any element in this matrix which is greater than or equals to 1 plus number of elements in this matrix by 2 elements we can say that that element is the median right as we have to find the 1 plus number of element by 2 its smallest element this is a simple approach we have to do but how we can achieve this we will use the fact that each row is sorted so let's understand first how we can find the number of elements less than equals to any element x in which each row is sorted we can achieve this using binary search why we can use binary search because we are given that each row is sorted so if we have to find number of elements which are less than equals to any element we can do it using binary search in this whole matrix Let's see how. If we have to find out the number of elements less than equals to 3 in this whole matrix, what we can do is we can run the binary search in each row because each row is sorted. You have to consider the fact that we can only use binary search when the elements are in sorted order. And we are given that each row is sorted. So we can run the binary search on each row and find the number of elements in each row which are less than equals to that element. So if we are finding the number of elements less than equals to 3, we can find that using binary search. So if we will run the binary search on this row, first row, we can find out that two elements are less than equals to 3, right? So the comp uh, time complexity of running the binary search on the first row would be order of log m why m order of log m because there are m columns so there are m number of elements in this row as well so we can run the binary search on it in order of log m and find the number of elements less than equals to 3 
Similarly, from the second row, we can run the binary search and find the number of elements less than equals to 3. In this case, it's 1, right? Similarly, in the third row, we can run binary search and find the number of elements less than equals to 3. In this case, it's 1. So, in total, in this matrix, there are 2 in the first row, 1 in the second row, and 1 in the third row. So, there are 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 elements which are less than equals to 3 but we have to find the element which is greater than equals to 5 elements because we have to return the 1 plus number of element by 2 its smallest element so we have to find out that element which is greater than equals to 5 elements so we can achieve this in order of n log m. How? As we have run the binary search on each row, this will take order of log m, right? For running the binary search on each row. And in total, we are running the binary search on n rows, so it will be multiplied. So, order of n log m would be the total time taken for running binary search in each row. And we can find out the number of elements which are greater than, less than equals to that element which we are considering. So, we will use this approach to find out the median of this matrix. Now, we have seen the basic crux of the algorithm that is to consider elements and find out how many number of elements are less than equals to that element. If we will find out that that element is greater than equals to 1 plus number of element by 2 elements in the matrix then we will return that element but now the question is how we consider the choice of that element so one thing we can do is we will find the minimum of this matrix and the maximum of this matrix minimum of this matrix is easy right minimum of the matrix will lie in the first column and similarly maximum of the f this matrix will lie in the last column as the rows are in sorted order so we can find the minimum and maximum. After finding the minimum and maximum, we will consider the choices of the elements for which we will consider the number of for finding the number of elements which are less than equals to that number of that element. So for the choice of that, what we will do is we will run the binary search on this range that is from minimum to maximum. So what we will do is we will take the middle element of this range minimum to maximum range check the number of elements which are less than equals to the middle element if the number of elements are greater than equals to the element which we have to find we will set our range to be in minimum to mid right if the number of elements are less than the element which we have to find out we will set the range to be max, mid to max mid plus 1 to max right so now let's see the algorithm so this is the C++ code to find the matrix median so the first part of the code that is line 10 to 22 what they do is they find the minimum and maximum element of this matrix. As we have already seen that minimum will lie in the first column and maximum would lie in the last column. So we will update the minimum and maximum if we find any element which is less than minimum. We will update the minimum. If we find out any element which is greater than maximum in the last column, we will update the maximum. So this part of the code takes care of finding the minimum and maximum element of the matrix. Now we are done with finding the minimum and maximum element of the matrix. So we have our range now. What we will do with this range? We will split the ranges. So what we will do? We will find the middle element of that range and we will find out how many number of elements are less than equals to this middle element 
So there is a C++ function called upper bound which takes care of this. It takes two parameters, three parameters. First two parameters are the iterators to the first element of the matrix and the last element of the matrix. And the third parameter is the target value for which we have to find out how many number of elements are less than equals to that middle element. So this function take care of finding the number of elements less than equals to any considered element. Okay. So if that count is less than desired elements, the desired element should be this much because we have to find one plus total number of elements by to its smallest element. So our element should be greater than equals to these number of elements. So if that count is less than desired elements, our median would lie in the right half. So our range becomes minimum to maximum, where minimum is mid plus one to max. If count is greater than equals to desired elements, our range becomes minimum to mid. That is maximum becomes mid. And we will do this till minimum is less, less than maximum. And at last we will return the minimum. So this will be our desired median of the matrix. Now let's dry run this code on the matrix. So we will dry run the code which we have illustrated on this matrix. So first we will find the minimum element and maximum element of this matrix. So minimum element is one and maximum element is 8. So we have our range now. So range is 1 to 8. So in the first iteration, what we will do is we will find the middle element. So the middle element is 4. So we will consider the element 4 and find out how many number of elements are less than equals to 4. So in this matrix, there are two elements which are less than equals to 4 in the first row and one in the second row and one in the last row. So in total, there are four elements which are less than equals to four, but we have to return the element which is greater than equals to five elements. So this is not our desired element which we have to find. So this is not the median. So the median will lie in the range five to eight, that is in the right half. So our minimum becomes 5 now and maximum becomes 8 now. So in the second iteration what we will do, we will do the same thing. We will find the middle element. So the middle element would be 5 plus 8 by 2 that is 6. And we will find out how many number of elements are less than equals to 6. There are 7 in this case that is 3 in the first row and 2 in the second row and 2 again in the last row. So in total, there are seven elements which are less than equals to six, but we have to return the element which is greater than equals to five elements. So this is not the element which we are looking for. So our range would become five to six. That is the element which we are looking for will lie in the left half of this range left half of the range 5 to 8 that is 5 to 6 now so the third iteration will be done on the range 5 to 6 so we will again find the middle element so middle element would be 5 plus 6 by 2 that is 5 and we will find out how many number of elements are less than equals to 5 in this matrix so there are three elements in the first row one in the second row and one in the last row so there are in total five elements which are less than equals to five this is the element we are looking for but there is a catch here that element we have considered may not be the element in this matrix so how do we make sure that element which we have considered is the element in the matrix this is why we will run this code even if we have found the element which is our which has to be the desired element that is which which is greater than equals to the desired elements 
but we will we won't return it till we get to know that that element is in the matrix so what we will do is we will this is why in the while loop when count is equals to desired elements we do max equals to mid we don't return at that point itself let's look at the code we will say if count is equals to desired elements we will set the max to mid we don't return at this point itself you have to take care of this fact there is a catch here we are not returning as at this point so we are taking the max to be mid in this case so we will set now max to be mid which was 5 in this case and our range becomes now 5 to 5 so the while loop breaks now because this condition that is minimum is less than maximum is not being met as minimum is equals to maximum now so we will break out of this while loop and we will return 5 so 5 is the median of the matrix so this was it for finding the median of the matrix if you want to see more videos like this you can subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts you can comment down in the comment section below i will reach out to you as soon as possible Thank you